Hi, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use a simple 8-bit serial to parallel shift register called the 748C595. In simple terms, a shift register is a device that allows you to control a potentially infinite amount of outputs, especially useful if you need to set pins on your microcontroller. Every microcontroller has a limited set of output and input pins. For instance, the Arduino Uno only has 14. A shift register therefore allows you to have 8 more outputs for your microcontroller, and if 8 more outputs isn't enough, you can always connect shift registers in series, which is also called daisy chaining. In this way, daisy chaining two shift registers together will give you 16 outputs. Potentially, you can connect as many shift registers as you like with a potentially infinite number of outputs. The 748C595 is known as an SIPO, serial in, parallel out, meaning the register is loaded with serial data, one bit at a time, with the stored data available at the output in parallel form. So how do shift registers work then? First of all, there are 16 pins on the shift register. Starting with the easiest ones first, the 8 output pins we spoke about are labelled QA through to QH, with QH in the bottom right hand corner being the pin used to daisy chain to the next shift register. Next up are the power and ground pins, which are self explanatory. Then there's the output enable pin, which is an active low pin as indicated by the line above. What this simply means is that it enables all the outputs when the pin is taken low. The serial clear line is next, and it's also an active low pin. It's sort of like an eraser which clears all the data stored in the chip when taken low. Since we don't always want to clear everything on the chip, we need to keep this pin high to prevent it from wiping the data. Finally, the three most important pins are the clock, latch and data. All three of these pins work together to move serial data from the microcontroller onto the parallel output pins. The first thing to understand is that the microcontroller uses something called synchronous serial communication to pass data to the shift register. All this means is that the microcontroller pulses one pin up and down thereby communicating a data byte to the register, one bit at a time. When the serial data enters the chip, the first thing it meets is the latch pin, which acts like a gate, only allowing data in when low, and only outputting this data when high. When this first bit of data enters the shift register, it moves onto the data pin, sending it from low to high and is stored in the storage of bit register. The third pin is the clock pin, which is a constant line which inspects the data pin for data, going from low to high when it detects data present on the data pin. In other words, data on the data pin is saved to the storage register on the rising edge of the clock. Then the clock goes back to low, preventing any more data from entering. This sequence continues until all 8 bits are stored to the data pin and the register is full. Finally, the data is ready to be moved onto the parallel output pins and the latch pin goes high, sending the 8 bits of data out in parallel onto the outputs. It's really just as simple as that. And in a small demo, I've set up 8 LEDs attached to a 748C595 to show how everything works. Besides the chip itself and the LEDs, nothing else was needed bar a few resistors.